Yeah, let's talk about this. Have you guys seen this? Have you guys seen Akash Akash Singh, Mr. Ah, Mr. Flipping Leg Tapper, embarrassing himself in the worst way possible by trying to embarrass, I guess, a British person for not laughing? <laughs> legitimately one of the worst videos i've seen in my entire life but i thought this is hilarious and if anything this is a clear indication of how detached from reality most stand-up comedians are like they just exist in their own little bubble where they legitimately think that they walk on water or legitimately think everything uttered out of their mouths is flipping grounds to be like ah having your side split when some of them are just you know passable in terms of entertainers for some reason he promoted this in his on his flipping instagram as well or on his socials as some sort of way to promote his comedy which is weird because it doesn't make him look the greatest but this is a cash versus a british heckler let's watch and hear suck for all of you you're first you're second did he yeah. suck for you yeah he didn't even look at me yeah that's true I'm, i came here when, when i was 10 but i've been meeting all kinds of people in america right we suck for you because you said something i said then... you look like you read a lot of books um yeah i wish i was reading one by now <laughs> That's a better joke than most comedians I've heard this year, mate. Honestly. I deserve this hostility, but uh, just trying to have a good time here. Just a comedy show, you know what I mean? Dude, I asked him a question and he rolled his eyes. I was like, what do you fuck my wife? <laughs> fuck you, dude. Why I had to put up with this from you. Why are you asking people questions for? I know it's a part of crowd work, but just because you ask somebody a question doesn't mean they, they owe you a flippant response. And especially if they don't want to give you a response to aid your show. I've mentioned it before and before. I've mentioned it before. And yeah, I think I have. You know one thing I hate the most? One of the things that really grinds my gears? People who try to go and dance on my middle finger leave me alone there's nothing worse than that i'm already high as a kite off my own stuff let me get zooted on my own thing. i don't need to be jumping in with you so i can't imagine being in a comedy show and having a comedian trying so where are you from <laughs> and all that kind of stuff to get me involved and get me a part of the joke use me as a prop do your joke do your routine and let me go home let me dunk my chicken fingers into this dip of flipping mayo and do my thing i mean i like, don't involve me in your flipping dumb comedy routine Ooh, you fuck how do you guys know each other can i ask are you comfortable talking about it if not it's all good we can move on we met on hinge all. you met on hinge yeah dude the south is more open-minded than you think don't be so nervous you know what i mean there's some fucking that you're not nervous what are you oh, this guy's a fucking can't <laughs> tell me what emotion you're feeling he's british he's really confused he's confused by indians as a brit i don't think he is to be honest with you <laughs> Oh my god, mate. If my eyes could roll further back into my head, I'd be flipping having an orgasm. I think he's looking at me like, why does this guy have freedom? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to power through the set. But when I'm done with my set and I see him doing this, <laughs> that shit, there is no way your fucking left hand is more interesting than what we're doing up. Maybe it is. Maybe you're not that funny. You know, let's be honest. I like Akash as like a human, like, but God almighty, man, the mannerisms and the similarities between him and flipping Andrew Schultz is a little bit cringy. Like, be your own man, brother. Like, honestly, allow this whole stuff. You're not, that is not you. You seem like a nice Indian boy. Like, just be that person. Well, why is he trying to be combative? Because if this guy decided to turn up and they wanted to throw hands, Akash is like, what, 70 pounds or something, right? Five foot one? He'd get smoked. This guy will fucking, you know, start voguing and do that little drop down thing and on his head or something. It's a wrap. Yeah, you know I mean, come on, man. Here for an hour. You clearly want to go home. I don't know why the fuck he didn't leave already. This guy's sitting here picking his fucking calluses on his hand for ten minutes. Just go. Who gives a fuck? Oh, yeah. by the way, um, Dark Web Jason made a good point. Crowd work is so forced. You know why crowd work is forced? By the way, it might it might be Andrew Schultz's fault. Andrew Schultz kind of got really popular off the back of crowd work, right? He does it masterfully, and the way they put the producer, the, they produce the videos and they edit them is really great but he turned crowd work into content pieces because before most content that comedians were putting out online was them in front of a flipping fake brick wall doing their comedy routine right making jokes but when you involve crowd into your, the crowd work into your sorry, when you um instead record the crowd work segment of your stand-up especially if you don't do the whole thing you just record maybe a bit of it and you show the people's reactions and stuff it basically is a way for them to get famous, right? They can see themselves on social media. They get the flipping likes as well. They're on camera, all that sort of stuff around it. It becomes a piece to kind of promote your thing, whatever it may be. It kind of hits that kind of dopamine levels. Also, that's probably the reason why crowd work is so cringe now because it's 
forced everywhere like you said everybody knows it's a thing and you're kind of going to the show hoping you might be on camera it's like the people that stand behind the djs at boiler room that's why boiler room is terrible now because people know hundreds of thousands of people if not millions are going to watch this dj perform so i'm going to stand behind the guy behind the dj and do some quirky thing play with my nipples figure with my glasses smoke a cigarette i don't know whatever nonsense people do so this is the same sort of equivalent of it it's just ugh, lame and then i just fucking lost it i was like again with yeah, all my jokes smart. fuck this guy he deserved it. I don't know if we put this out because it's so mean, but he fucking deserved it. It's fun to be honest with you. It's <laughs> yeah. not mean. I had a good time. It's not mean, it's cringe. It's fucking cringe. How is this more polite than just getting up and walking out? The guy thinks he's funnier than me. Probably fucking is. Brits, dude. I'm so glad that bitch died. So glad that bitch died. Never been more glad a bitch died in my life. Ah, uh, you know what also he's trying to have? I think this is forced because he's trying to have a Bill Burr moment. Was it Bill Burr in Philly where he kind of comes out and destroys a crowd that's been very um, combative or maybe not being the most welcoming or warmest of the comedians that came prior to him? And he has this flipping legendary set that went viral. But think about it, if I'm not mistaken, that Philly set that Bill Burr did that went viral, there was no video of it. It was just an audio recording. That's all you hear. And it went viral and got him, you know, made him flipping way more famous and let people remind people how flipping amazing and funny Bill Burr is one of my famous one of my favorite stand-up comedians but maybe this has got a little bit of a tinge in it these guys are trying to recreate that Bill Burr Philly magic this whole time I didn't care I was like whatever 92 year old bitch died who cares what she did to India I'm over it I'm not over it anymore <laughs> fuck that bitch <laughs> ha you get those jokes don't exactly how's that funny that's like saying somebody like you eat tea and crumpets at your house or something or do you know where the queen lives or have you seen that it's just such a lame base level joke like really it's like the equivalent of Nicki Minaj doing her British accent and thinking everyone speaks like that don't you you don't have a hard time understanding that <laughs> fucking stupid inbred bitch fuck you I hate this bitch now and it's your fault inbreeding it's hard to joke about inbreeding when you're Indian to be fair come on let's be real especially in London especially in the UK right like let's not do our Googles about the Indian community and maybe some of your Pakistani brothers and sisters when it comes to inbreeding I'm not gonna say too much about you know the vibes I wish we could dump more tea in a fucking hurricane right now <laughs> tea party part two in a much less significant state I swear to God, dude. I swear to God, if I had a fucking glove, I'd slap you like that with that shit. Challenge you to a duel. What if he wins though? What if you lose to the British dude whose sexuality may be fluid? What if you lose to him? What if he, the British dude whose sexuality may be fluid, who's picking his flipping calluses on his hands? What if he absolutely smokes you? Then what? Will you record that and put that out there? Random black guy laughing at my jokes. Let's put that in the video also. Cringe, man. These guys are so lame. It's fucking Hamilton out here. I don't know what the fuck I was talking about. I blacked out for a second, to be honest with you. I feel so good, though. I feel so much better about everything. Fuck the queen. You goofy inbred bitch that killed Diana. Fuck you. Oh, I, do you feel bad for this Diana killing ass bitch, really? Miss, you seem very sweet. I, I don't want you to feel bad about yourself, but do you really feel bad about this Diana killing ass bitch? Can you do me a favor? Can you just come sit here for five minutes? Just look at this guy. Can you see him from here? You only see this part of his face. You don't see the shitty part is right here. You pay this is dead. What well, Mike Moose says, um, have you seen the Kill and Peel video clip of the guy that shakes when instead of laughing, this Indian dude fake laughs so hard that shows jokes the same. <laughs> no, I've not seen them. That's hilarious. <laughs> You know what? I don't think this is a thing I'm going to say controversial. I don't think Akash is fake laughing at what Schultz says. I legitimately think he thinks Schultz is basically Eddie Murphy reincarnated. To him, Schultz is the funniest person he knows. And also, let's be fair, Schultz essentially gave this guy a career, right? Basically, you know, Schultz has been, Schultz is, let's, let's be fair too. You don't might not like the guy, but he's a great friend. He's brought his entire friendship group with him along the way, from his producers to his openers to people that helped do the show. Even the show itself, he has everybody sitting on that flipping sofa. Now it's different sofas, but everybody's on camera. Everybody gets airtime. He obviously has that monologue thing that he does. Maybe he's kind of the quote unquote star, but he brings everybody forward. He kind of uses his platform to promote and lift up his friends. And obviously, in the process of him getting bigger, it's allowed Akash to become his own person now. He has he's touring and doing his own show. So clearly, I understand why 
you you would laugh a bit extra hard when this guy's paying for your wedding essentially <laughs> right it makes complete sense giving you a salary and letting you look after your family and whatnot right i get it because you're coming from a traditional indian family they want you to be a doctor and whatnot and then you know you're not being successful in comedy and then shorts it gives you that flipping success you can kind of finally go to your parents and say haha i proved you wrong I get it, but he has used to relax. Like, Schultz is funny, but he's not as funny as he makes it out to be. Pay for this shit, I bet. He wouldn't do this if he paid. Remember what I said about being disrespectful? Fuck all of it. Out the window. Respect is given when respect is taken, or whatever the fuck. Exactly, Uche. Schultz is the meal ticket, and he acts accordingly. Exactly. You have to know your... Honestly, that's one of the things I've learned when I've got older. Before, I was very... um anarchist maybe way of looking at things never pay dues um fuck the ogs all this kind of weird fuck the establishment burn everything down right the classic kind of golf wang stuff right kill people fuck school that's what that's what that, what's that thing they say kill people fuck something it was a, that 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 thing they always used to chant at golf wang shows right on future stuff i used to be that person but the older you get the, the sooner you realize that you have to know when you're bread is buttered at all times <laughs> you have to know where your bread is buttered at all times <laughs> doesn't mean you suck up to anybody doesn't mean you lose your dignity or you kind of give somebody your bussy for free you have to know where your bread is buttered <laughs> it's, a, it's a reciprocal reciprocity is the word i'm goddamn looking for i'm out here sounding like motherfucking suffering succotash out here i'm out here talking like daffy duck i'm so upset at this fucking guy i just don't get it Sorry, it's not some fucking dry ass BBC sitcom. You couldn't have stayed home watch Mr. Bean on PBS on Saturday night, motherfucker. Honestly, I know it's a it's not a bit because he looks angry and he's red. Can you imagine being this upset because somebody doesn't want to flip in laugh at your jokes? When you've got all these people laughing. Look at this woman. She's legitimately having the time of her life. Got a couple of mimosas in her. Maybe there's a flipping double chicken burger coming down the aisle. Maybe there's some flipping macaroni and cheese coming down the aisle. She's having a great time. Focus on her. Why are you bothered that this one guy doesn't want to laugh at your fucking jokes? Why is it a necessity that everyone has to be creasing over, fainting and being taken away in a stretcher, Michael Jackson style, for you to have a good show? Like the ego and the hubris on his people is ridiculous. God damn, dude. You know, I swear to God, I used to tell people I want to move to London. Oh, really? I changed my mind just now. <laughs> I love London. You can't be from London. You're too... You know, where are you from? And now I don't even give a fuck. Who cares. I'm asking that's funny, I'm like, that's funny. Me. I'm sorry I ruined your night, truly. I'll never feel bad for you in my life. That was the worst thing I said? I feel like I did okay then. <laughs> How about this? I wish the queen was Hindu so I could watch that bitch burn to death. How about that? Take that dead body and light it on fire like a fucking... <laughs> I hope for her next life she comes back as a minority. Fucking make her miserable. Fucking frigid bitch, get out of here. I might give a fuck. Does he not know that most people don't care about the royal family in the UK? I don't know why he thinks that we're all flipping royal apologist or something like does he think we all have flipping portraits of the queen in our house i i don't want to turn around my flipping camera but there is no one portrait of flipping queen lizzie here most people in my friendship group didn't give a fuck about her when she was alive or when she was dead these jokes don't land this is like he thinks this is the equivalent of like saying you wish death upon oprah winfrey or something it's not the same thing we no one has any love for the queen we all know the horrors of the flipping monarchy and the royal family we're all very very aware of it we don't need some indian guy from america to tell us why the queen is bad like none of us like her who is he talking to really this is like we i don't know this is strange this is very very strange who he's trying to insult here we don't care like <laughs> i'm looking for my seven foot camera guy around the corner like just in case this guy charges the stage you know? oh you see you see you see after all of that insulting of the guy he's now putting it out there subtly that he's got protection around the corner nah if you're gonna talk that hot shit let the sexually fluid British guy get a look at you around the corner, innit? Come on. Hey, thank you, bro. He's not even scared of your size. He's just not used to black people. Oh, shit. <laughs> There's no black people outside of America. Ugh. Man, fuck him. 
fucking dead shit one thing that's gonna guarantee i'm never watching his stand-up if that's what he does what is it gonna be indian jokes right indian be indian people be like <laughs> american people be like and then this type of fucking humor you can fuck off if you think i'm watching that ever in my free time fuck right off absolute donkey crap man so big up that british guy for not laughing it's, if it's not funny don't laugh fuck them it is what it is isn't it jesus christ man